We have an update this evening on a city council investigation of council member Leanna Cumber, who is also running for mayor, and her possible personal ties to the failed JEA sale. A special committee is trying to learn what Cumber knew and why she did not disclose information about her husband's involvement with the company bidding on JEA. Today, News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Piggott covered the committee's latest meeting and tells us what the members have now learned. You know, a lot of people have said this whole investigation centers around the upcoming election. Well, the one thing that this committee found out today is they can't turn this over to the city's ethics commission 30 days before an election if it involves a candidate. And of course, Leanna Cumber is running for mayor. So now they have to wait until after the election. The vice chair of the council committee looking into why Leanna Cumber didn't disclose information about her husband's involvement with a company interested in running JEA says they did learn some new information in this investigation. Well, we've learned that Councilwoman Humber, uh, Cumber's husband was significantly more involved than we even thought, which just further exacerbates um, the issue about why it was not disclosed in Councilwoman Cumber's um, disclosure in March 2021. Um, so that is the issue. So we did learn more with this SIC, um, and I think we've learned we're not going to learn anymore. For that reason, Holland says they want the city's ethics commission to investigate, but they just learned that can't happen right away because city rules say the ethics commission can't take on those complaints about a candidate 30 days prior to an election. Some, including Leanna Cumber, have said the entire process of this committee was just a campaign ploy because some members, like Nick Howland, support another candidate for mayor. Howland says that's not the reason. I don't factor the election into this at all. We learned about information about wrongdoing that needed to be investigated. So I said it before, you know, just like it's always right to speak the truth, it's always right to seek the truth. And that's what we're doing with this special investigatory committee. Cumber didn't participate in this current investigation, but through her attorney said the reason she didn't disclose information about her husband's involvement in the original investigation is because the FBI told her not to. Howland says he contacted the FBI to learn if that's true and says he was told by the FBI they cannot confirm or deny that because it's an ongoing investigation. Remember, there's still a federal criminal case against two former JEA executives over their role in the attempted sale of the utility. So now this special committee will turn its request into the Ethics Commission the day after the election. Howland says they just want to make sure that council members in the future cooperate, and it may take the Ethics Commission to make that happen. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Jim. An attorney who worked on the original city council investigation of JEA says he was unaware of Cumber's husband's involvement in the possible deal. Councilman Howland did say he is not aware if the Cumbers would have made any money from privatization had JEA been sold.